Right, so uh, we're doing Nei Waza today, it's the groundwork. Um, so what I've asked everyone to do is to get a judo suit, okay, just a jacket, put a cushion inside it, put some cushions down, down the arms if you can, tie your belt around it. Okay, so first things first, you've got about a minute or so, I need this ready for when we start doing the actual Nei Waza techniques. Um, so groundwork, so just get yourself a suit jacket with some pillows, stuff down it and tie a belt around it, okay? Um, while you guys are doing that, obviously I'll just go through all the normal sort of spiel of starting up. Um, so, uh, first of all, um, thank you for everyone that's joined us. Uh, this is Ricky from Barnet Judo Club. Um, we've got a couple of people in from different clubs, so obviously the, the criteria is quite uh, strong on what we're doing. Um, but obviously if everyone else is here, welcome and obviously appreciate the uh, following. A um, few little things. So, with Barnet Judo Club, we've just announced that we're going to do a uh, visual online grading. Um, the grading is going to be on the 6th of June. Um, you've got to get uh, the stepping right for eight Tachi Waza, uh, so standing techniques, um, the, uh, and then also using some uh, physio bands to show us how you're doing Kazushi on those techniques with the tech stepping as well. Um, anyone that wants these bands, okay. Um, for Barnet Judo Club, these are completely free for you, so you just need to let us know you want them and we'll get them out to you. The yellow is for primaries, the blue is going to be for the juniors, and the gold is going to be for the seniors, okay? So any of the other guys, um, I've just seen some Catherine's Drive. Corey, if you want one of these bands, mate, just let me know and we can sort out one for you one way or another. Um, obviously, we have to charge you guys if you're not members of the club, um, but just let us know. Um, I sent out for uh, some uh, medals to be designed for our primaries to do. Um, we've had a lot of those in. Um, if there's still a few of them coming in, just let us, let us get them into us in the next couple of days and we'll try and put an announcement out on Wednesday on who's won the actual uh, certificate for this one. Um, other to that, uh, let's get going with it today, okay? So it's all groundwork stuff today, so all name was her. So literally everything we're going to do is going to be based on the ground. So just make sure you've got a good space around you so you can get on with this, okay? So first thing we're going to do, so we're going to get on our backs <coughs> and we're going to do bridges, okay? So we're going to start with our feet partly on the floor. I'm going to arch onto one shoulder, pick our hip up high and then reach to the far corner, okay? Then we'll come back and then reach to the other far corner, okay? So just coming over, just reaching. All right, so just carry on doing that. I'm going to do about 10, 10 a side. And guys, just make sure your cameras, I can see you so it's easier for me to see. Obviously, I can help you out with techniques and stuff as well. Uh, Gemma, your camera's off. If you could put your camera on, that'd be brilliant. Perfect. <clears throat> All right, so with the bridges, obviously, it is important to keep the feet planted. And just imagine we're trying to uh, escape from a hold down. So someone's holding us down. We're going to need to push them off and touch the far corner so we can turn over. Okay. So this is this is like a, a starter for escaping hold downs. Okay. So we're going to do another ten. The same thing again. So feet planted again. So roll into the shoulder. Really stretch out as far as you can with this one. Okay. Remember to drive and hang. Okay. So you're going to do ten each side for me. Good. Right, okay, so going from that, once you've done your 10 on each side, I'm going to do uh, sort of like a drill that we use for uh, Kesavitami, so the hold down. All right, so the first thing to do is you guys are going to need to get yourselves into like this all fours position, but don't be dirty until you see me show you what you've got to do. So we go into this all fours, and then what we're going to do is take the right leg across the left foot here, and I'm going to put the left hand over the top to the back. Okay, then we're going to take the left foot through and swap here. Okay, that's 180 I've done. So I carry on again, the right, then the left foot. Okay, then I'm back to where I started. That's the 360. And we're going to go back the other way, all the way to the 360. Okay, make sure you're keeping yourself reasonably low 
not too high with the bum. Um, but the idea is to be able to switch your hips through. So you're getting your hip quite close to the floor, so you're ready to do your half downs. We're keeping your hips off the floor so that we can continue to move into this stance, okay? So keep circling right, circling left, okay? I'm going to go through and just see what everyone's doing. The other way, Corey. Corey, right leg, left hand. Yeah, then left foot, right hand, Corey. Well done, Leo. That's looking good, mate. Well done, Liam. Bruno and Igor, left check. Yes, good, Aga. Well done, Matilda. Keep going. Brilliant. Okay, it's looking good, guys. So remember what the idea is, is we're trying to turn around a 360. So our head is changing direction every time. So if my head's facing forward, I'm then going to turn round and face to my left. I'm then going to turn round and face the back, then I'm going to turn round and face the right, and then I come back and I'm forward again. Okay? So the idea is, is to do a complete circle in that one spot. Just want you to imagine you've got your opponent in front of you, okay? You're trying to hold this person down. So all we're doing is just working around them, okay? So one fixed point, all right? So keep going with that rotation, guys. Yeah, good guys, well done, keep going. Okay, so, next one. If you sit facing me, the idea is, is to finish say, sitting facing me, okay? So what you're gonna do, if you use your hands, you're gonna switch your feet around, so they're behind you, and then lay on your stomach, and then your feet are gonna go the other way, around to here, okay? So we call this the turntable 360, so your feet go all the way around to the front, okay? And then you go all the way around the other way. To your front, round to your bum again. All right. So, just want you to do ten each side. So it's going to go round to here. That's one. Bring the other way. That's two. Okay. So just keep rotating left and right. So your bum and hips are always staying on the floor. Well done, Aga. It's good. Matilda, you need to turn onto your front. Turn up, watch what I'm doing, okay? So from here, feet go to the side. I'm still facing you. Lay down. Then come round. Yeah? So you've got to lay down. Your head stays in the front all the, all the time. Always looking forward with your head. Go on. That's the one. And then the legs go around the other way. And then sit up. Good. And then swap round again. Good. Well done, lads. That's good. Gemma's fine. Mark's working really hard here. Good, guys. All right, so you should be coming to a finish of those ones. Right. Next one is, is called a sort of like a Zangaku, sort of like a figure four leg strangle, okay? This is just purely a warm-up, so it's just getting you guys to think. So all we're going to do is lay on our backs. I need you to shoot your feet and bum up into the air. But when you shoot up, you're gonna hook one leg behind your knee and then drop it down, okay? So I'll show you from this side. So you go up, hook, down, okay? Then you're gonna swap the sides. You go up, hook, down, okay? And it's just a repeated exercise, right, left, okay? Making sure that you are swapping the sides every time.
Yeah, so this is just a drill for a, a strangle, okay? But it's a good one to start engaging your core. All right, remember to tuck one leg behind, then the other leg behind, okay? Yeah, perfect, Olivia, well done. Come on, Corey, don't just sit there. Sit, and then the other side. Yeah, good. Well on, Leo. Good, Aga. Well on, boys. Bend the leg, Matilda. So when you hook, then bend. That's it. Good, nice. Okay, so everyone should be feeling a little bit warmed up now. Um, so what we're now going to do is start moving into just a little bit of the sort of main session now. So I have asked everybody to get a judo suit with a cushion. Okay, so the judo suit itself, all right, with a cushion with the belt around it. Okay, so make sure you've got this for me. And then what we're going to do. If you stick it so the head is facing me, so then you can just mirror what I'm doing, okay? So everyone get their things out. If you've got uh, siblings with you, uh, you're more than welcome to use your siblings. If you want to grab your parents because you haven't got, a, got one of these, go grab someone to lay down for you. That's all you need, is someone to lay down, okay? Um, and then they, you can move around them. All right, so has everyone got one? Give me a thumbs up if you've got it. Everyone's got a mannequin or a body or someone to lay down for them. Yeah, good, good, yeah, 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 perfect. Right, so is anyone missing? Olivia's just tying off. <laughs> Welcome, by the way. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is just, the main session today, as I say, is was it's all to do with groundwork, okay? So what I wanna do is just work through some of the hold downs um, that do, do come up on gradings quite commonly, but I'm not going to specifically stay to one hold down. I want to do one like work it as sort of a drill where you're moving from one to another to another. Um, so some of the guys in Barnet and who've obviously seen this grading syllabus, the new grading that we're going to get you guys to do visually is we want to see you transition from one technique to another technique to another technique while keeping full control over your opponents. Okay, now before um, I go into any major details with that, I just want you guys to think about the techniques that we've done in the past. Um, think about techniques that you may have seen on some of the videos that we've done before um, and just generally anything you practice um, because some of those things will come into play okay but the main rule is keep control of our opponent's shoulders and chest okay if you do not keep contact then in a competition they are going to escape and you're not going to win the competition and also when you're trying to do a hold down the idea is to keep them held um, so make sure that you are keeping control okay so First of all, if you guys stand to one side of your um, suit, okay, and then we're going to kneel down. All right, so now I've got the arm in front of me and the chest to the side of me, okay. So what the first thing we're going to do is we're going to think about like we've just thrown them, okay. So if we pick the arm up and just grab the sleeve like you would do if you just just thrown them, and I want you to grab the opposite lapel, okay. So that's your first grip. So we're going bottom of the sleeve and then the lapel, okay. So we've got the grip. The next step is we need to get ourselves into a kezakatami, which is a scarf hold, okay? So what I want you guys to do, keep the pressure on their shoulder here. I want you to push the leg that's nearest to them. So this leg, the one that's nearest to them, is gonna go through so I can put my hip underneath the shoulder, okay? Then I'm gonna bring the foot forward so it's like a 90 degrees angle, okay? And then the back leg, from another angle, so I've come in from here, I've then pushed myself through, and then I've come into this position with my feet, okay? So having this position here, I'm now ready to put my kezakatami on properly, okay? So I need to keep this arm wrapped, I can tuck it under my armpit and grab the back of the suit. This one, I want you to imagine, because you might not have a head on your, on your suit now, I want you to imagine there's a head, so I want you to put your forearm on the floor underneath the head, and then put your hand on your own leg, okay? And then from here, pull, and then put your head down to your own hand, okay? So, we come up again and start again. So, we throw, 
Pressure on the shoulder, keep the grip on the arm. Push the knee forward. So the suit, your hip is now underneath the suit. Sit on your bum, bring the front leg forward, back leg forward, backwards. Pin the arm, grab the back of the suit. Hand then slides under the head. So your forearm is now fully on the floor. Hand on your knee and then look down. Okay, so this is called case of time. Stay in that position. I want to just have a quick look, see where everyone's in. Well done, Corey. Good. Uh, Olivia, I can't see you, mate. <laughs> uh, that one? Jennifer, I've got. That's a good one. Um, yeah, Leon, Bruno, and Igor. Good. Ago, well done. Matilda, good. Gemma, good, well done. I see you looking up. Keep your head down, though. Head down. That's it. Yeah, well done, Lewis, boys. Right, okay, so if you have just done that with a sibling, okay, then what I want you to do is swap over, okay? Um, we'll do it exactly the same again so everyone has another go at it, okay? So this is Keza Katami, okay, scarf hold, all right? So we take a grip of the sleeve and we take a grip of the lapel. Put the pressure on their shoulder so it pins them and pull this arm slightly, okay? Then we're gonna shoot the knee forwards so your hip is under their armpit. Then you're gonna sit your bum down, sort your legs out, okay? This whole time I'm keeping pressure, okay? Then I'm gonna put my chest forward, just pin that on, and then slide underneath the head, forearm on the floor, and then hand on knee and then head down. Okay? Good. All right, do it again. So just, all the guys obviously that have done this a lot of times before, we'll do it a little bit quicker. So into here, slide into that position. Come back out again. Do it more as a drill, yeah? So you're in here. All right, so you've got the control the whole time. Good. Right, so what we're now going to do is just talk about how to transition into another technique from there. So from this hold down, so we're gonna go back into the exact same hold down, okay? So to here, all right? Now, this is Keza Katami, yes? So Keza Katami is a scarf hold. I'm basically putting my arm around their neck like a scarf, okay? Now, there's one called Kazuri Keza Katami. Now, Kazuri means broken, okay? So in Japanese, it means it's broken. So what I'm gonna do is break my scarf hand, okay? So what I'm gonna do is take my hand off the scarf, and I'm actually going to put it on the floor, under the other armpit, and then slide it up under their shoulder, okay? The whole time, I've still got my chest on them, okay? So from here, I'm still keeping this chest control, so a hand comes out under their armpit, okay? Keep the head down, and then keep that pulling arm going, okay? All right, make sure you've got this sort of 90-90 position on your feet, all right, so that you've got good, strong base. So this... Foot position is important because it stops you from being pushed forwards, it stops you from being pushed back because you can push the back leg. Obviously, if they try to roll you this way, you can now put your arm out, okay? Um, and obviously, if they try to stick you any other way, you're pretty much based, okay? You've got at least three or four points of contact on the foot, okay? So let me just have a quick flip through again, make sure everyone's doing this all right. Good, so arm should be under the shoulder. Good. Nice. Yeah, well done, guys. Okay, so. Going from that one, we're now going to shift into the next technique, okay? So, we start on the first one. So I want you guys to start up, up in your kneeling position again, okay? So we come to here, so we pin the shoulder and pull the arm, all right? We're going to shift our knee forward, so it's hip in, pull the arm, head down, Keza Katami, okay? So now Keza Katami, we're then going to go to Kazuri. So it's just breaking the arm off, taking it back on the floor under the armpit. Okay, pull in tight. Now we're going to go into, um, excuse me, now we're going to go into Muni Katami, which is a chest hold, okay? So Muni Katami from here, this hand, I'm just going to keep pulling it into my waist. The foot at the front, I have to, I've made space here, foot at the front, and now I'm going to pull back, and I'm going to go into my tummy, okay? Now I'm keeping this up here because I want to pin my knee underneath that arm at front, okay? Then I'm going to take the other hand around the other arm, and I can stay in this position here, or I can bring the other knee up, okay? So 
just going to come in on position so you can see what I've done. So, one, two, coming into here, that's the second one. So I'm pulling, bring the back leg through, so I'm turning down. Knee comes up, then we go round, so face the front, and face the side of them, and then come knee up again as well. Okay, so now we should be sitting in there holding the opposite arm, and the other arm should be trapped in your knee. Okay, so let me have a quick look at that for me. Yeah, good. So side four quarters, yeah? So, sorry, not side four quarters, this is uh, Munich time, which is a uh, chest hold. Good, right, so. From there, we're gonna go to Yoko Chiyotami, okay? So from, from this exact same position, Yoko Chiyotami, this hand goes under the head and holds on. This hand, you've got to imagine there's some legs there, goes in between the middle of the legs, comes up, and then we grab the belt, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm just imagining this is the leg. So I'm going round the leg, so my forearm's staying on the floor the whole time, here, and then grabbing their belt. Then I'm gonna stretch and pull in. Stretch, pull in, okay? So I've still got the arm in the same place, okay? So from that, I'm just gonna quickly check through, and then we're gonna go through the whole lot again, okay? So everyone come back up to their knees for me. All right, so I'll start naming the knees now. So naming them as one and stuff, okay? So onto our knees, take our sort of defensive grip where we're in control, okay? So we're then gonna to go to Kezatami, okay? So that's number one. So hip through, catch the head, cracks the arm. So that's one. Two is gonna to go to Kazuri. So remember, chest and head down, bring the arm off, hand on the floor, scoop up the shoulder. So that's two. Three, we're then gonna keep the chest power on, bring the back leg all the way back. So we're back off to the side, bring the front leg up, so the knee up to the head. Scoop round the arm and then bring the other leg in. Okay, tight. All right, then we're going to go to the Yoko Shiyotami. So from Yoko Shiyotami, you can keep this hand on or catch the head. From here, go through the legs, swipe underneath the legs and grab the belt. Stretch, pull. Okay, good. Right, so let's go through the whole routine again, and then we've got another two to add on. Okay, so grip and hold the shoulder. So going to one, so Kezatani. Good. Kazuri, just remember to break the arm and go under the other armpit. Okay, Mooney, remember you want to slide the front leg out, keeping all the pressure on, onto your front, and then bring your knee up high to the head. Scoop under the head here, just keep under the arm and then bring the other leg up so it's right up next to the hip. Okay? When we're gone from mini, we're then gonna go to yoke. So from here, hand comes off, goes through the legs, round, grab the belt, stretch, pull. Okay, so from that, we're then gonna to move to what's called tati shiyoka timing, okay? which is like a, a lateral uh, four quarters, upper four quarters, okay? So you're basically gonna have to climb on top of your opponent and hold them down with your whole body, okay? So from this position here, we've already got under the head anyway. From this position here, we've got underneath the belt, all right, what we can do, we take a hand off the belt and put the hand up here next to the shoulder, okay? So now we're pinning the chest, all right? Now from here, the, butt, the leg nearest to their legs, so away, the furthest one away from you, is just going to go over the top, and I'm going to turn around, cover on this, okay? And what I'm doing is I'm always trapping one arm, okay? Here, all right? So I've got the head and the arm, and I'm just cuddling in between them, all right? Feet going tight, knees squeezing tight, pull in tight, okay? So Tati Shiho Katami, okay? So this is just a, a, a top sort of uh, hold down. All right? Okay, so, once we've got into that position, we're now gonna go through them all again. So we're just running through, running through, running through, getting them right, okay? So, Kezatami, so start with your first grip. Okay, so we're going Kezatami, scarf hold. 
one. Kazuri has a timing, so this is broken. Okay, hand comes off, goes under the shoulder, pin. Kazuri has a timing. Okay, then we're going to go to Mooney. So we need to keep all the pressure on the chest. Turn around onto our tummies, pull this arm up tight, and then bring our knee up to trap it. Hand comes under the head, around to the arm, and then bring the back leg in. So we're back onto our four quarters, our, our fours now, okay? Then we're looking for Yoko Shio Kitami, which is the side four quarters. So the hand comes off, goes through the legs, big scoop, grab the belt, stretch, pull, okay? Then we're going to go to Tati Shio Kitami. So from here, the hand comes off from there, come up to the top, shift your weight. So with your legs, you mean shift your weight. So you can get onto one leg so you can get this leg up, okay? Also, when you lean over, don't just pick the leg over because someone will trap your leg. So little trick is bring the knee up first, okay, slide the knee across to the floor and then to there, okay. Always keep control of at least an arm, all right. But I'm always keeping my pressure down on the chest. So from Yokoshio, hand comes off to here, all my pressure is on the chest. My chest is still touching the whole time. I've then shifting my weight to the knee and then I'm going to stand up onto my foot and then my knee is going to lean across over and then turn to face them and then now I'm on top fully okay <clears throat> right now we're going to move to kata tatami okay now kata tatami is a shoulder hold so from tati imagine our opponent's trying to get us off and then whipping this hand around and stuff like that and then they actually get that hand across your your face okay this is what I want you to imagine you've got your hands Around the head okay now that arm comes up and it goes across your face all right here so all you're going to do is pick the arm up um, that you were holding a second ago okay so it's the one to your right up and push it across your face okay then push the hand on it and put your head down your hands clamp and then pull together okay that then tightens the arm across the neck of the head okay so once you've got yourself into this position where you're holding this all right, points of contact to your elbows now. All right, I want you to lift your hips up and I want you to twist so you've got one leg coming out. Switch your knees together so they're both on the same side now as the elbow is. And then you're going to shift your leg up into their back and then this one's going to come out straight. Okay, so just give me from another angle. So we've gone from that here. To kata. So the arm goes across your face, across their face, all right, head on the back of their arm, push, and then put your head down a bit harder. Hands clamp together, pulling tight, keep this tight. Pressure goes down while you lift your hips up, so you push down on the head, keep the hips up, then you're going to lift your knee up, come across to the other side. Okay, so we're now all on the same side of the body, so everything's on the same side of the body. All right, and then to keep my balance, I'm going to put my foot out, okay? And I'm just going to keep my head going down to the floor. All right, so that's all the techniques we're going to do today, but I just want to get that into a routine now. So what we're going to do now is going to go through all of them again, linking them all together, okay? So everyone get up again and start next to their partners. Grip your suit in the correct position so you've got lapel and sleeve all right remember the lapel needs to be pinning the shoulder sleeve needs to be pulling towards your hip so you've got full control pick the outside leg up makes it a lot easier to move as well okay so from here we're now going to shift through to the head of the tummy so this is one so we're going hip through so knee through here lean forward trap the arm trap the head head down Okay, so we'll count to three. One, two, three. Keep the pressure on. All right, so from here, keeping this pressure on, we're now going to take the hand off, go under the armpit, and push up to their shoulder. So the hand's out at the top now, okay? So that's Kazuri Kesek Tami. So that's our broken scarf hold now. Okay, then we're going to move to Moon. So pull the arm tight. This has got to stay tight. All right, bring the front leg towards the back so you can roll onto your front. 
bring the knee nearest to the arm you're holding and the head. Let go of the arm now, and then you can scoop under the head and under the arm, and then you can bring the second leg up, okay, and squeeze in tight, okay, this is really good to get into tight positions, okay, everything's chest control, okay. Right, so this is Mooney Katami now, all right. Now we're going to move into Yoko Shio Katami, which is the side four quarters. So all you're doing is taking your hand off nearest to their legs, going through the legs, and then scooping the leg, grabbing the belt, stretch, pull. Okay, once you get into this position, put your head down, hold for three seconds again. Okay, then we're going to go to Tati Shio Katami. So remember the Tati? All right, we need to. Shift our weight, so let go of the leg, put the hand up to the top so it's on the floor and holding you, and then you're going to shift your weight towards the head, keeping all the pressure on the chest still. Shift the weight so you can lift the back, this leg up, right? Knee on their chest, okay? Put the knee on the chest, then you're going to swipe it across to the floor, and then flick the foot out. Once the foot's flicked out, you're then going to hold as tight as you can towards the floor. Put your head on the floor if you can. Squeeze your legs in tight, tight, tight. Okay, so this is now Tati Shio Katami. All right, so we're fully controlling the chest and the shoulders, and they can't move, okay? Now, coming from Tati, we're gonna to go to Kata. So imagine you've just let a little bit of weight up, and they start putting their hand across your face. Grab that hand that you're struggling, push it across to the other side, and put your ear on it. Push a bit harder, head again. Now, clamp your hands, clamp and push into their shoulder, okay? Now, we need to get the opposite leg off. So we need to shift all our weight forward, so you can put your head on the floor, keep the points of contact, lift your hips up high, and then shift the knee first to come through. Put that one out, and there we go, okay? So that's a nice, easy way of doing it. So we push all of our weight forwards, so it goes all over their shoulder, over to their head. All right, we've got our three points of contact now, which is my head, my elbows, and I've actually got my two feet still. So I can lift my hips up, and then the knee on the opposite side shifts through. Okay? This avoids any problems if I start bringing my foot over, I'm getting the foot trapped. Link knee first, slip the foot off, put the foot out. Okay? Right, so I'm going to have a quick look through. I want to see how you guys get on. And I'll go from there. Okay, so start from the beginning again, guys. Everyone go to the beginning for me. All right, so get your grip. So grab the sleeve and grab the lapel for me. Okay, so everyone in that position. All right, so we're gonna go to Keza Katami now. So shift the knee through, pin the arm, pin the head. Good. Okay, now. Kazuri case of time, so you want to break that grip. So you want to take the hand off, put it under the other armpit, and up to their shoulder. Good. Okay, so Kazuri, we're then going to Muni Katami. So you're then going to shift your front leg to the back, keep all the chest pressure down, and then bring your knee up, and then the other knee as well. Looking good, guys. All right, Tristan. Okay, so from there, <clears throat> we're then going to Yoko Shio Katami. So Yoko Shio Katami, take your hand off, go through the legs, and then scoop up, grab the belt, pull through. Yeah, good guys, well done. Right, so from Yoko, we're then moving to Tati. So take the hand out from the legs, move it up towards the other shoulder. Okay, and then Pop your knee onto their chest, that's it, and then slide it across and then sit on top. Okay, so now you're mounting over the top of them. Good. Right, now from that, we need to move to the kata. So imagine the person's tried to push your face with that arm you're holding. So push that, that arm across your face. Okay, put your chin, your, your ear on the other side of it, that's it, good. Right, now put your head down to the floor. All right, lift your hips up into the air, and then your left leg, or the leg that's on the opposite side needs to shift across and then put the other one out straight. Perfect, that's really good. Well done, Matilda. Good. Well done, Corey. Good. 
Right. Okay, guys. So that's the main session over. Okay. So very well done to everybody. Okay. I'm very glad that we've had everyone obviously brought their own little mannequins up for us. Plus also the ones out there that obviously you're using your uh, your siblings, um, even your parents in some cases. So um, after this session, that's the main thing for most of the sort of shifting around of the techniques. Obviously for practice, do it left-handed and right-handed. Remember, as we always say, if you're doing judo one-handed, you're only doing half a judo, so you want to do all of it, practice both sides, okay? So start on the left-hand side and shift around the other way, okay? It's just a circular motion of techniques that we're looking at. So you keep constant control on your opponent's chest, making sure that contact is there and you're able to shift around from position to position because there is going to be people there that when you're in competition, they are not going to sit still. They're going to try and move around. So you need to be able to adjust your position to get yourself to where you want to control them, okay? And that's one of the stronger routes. All right, so little suit. Let's get rid of that now. Right, so... Now what we're going to do, we're going to do our fitness section, okay? So everyone enjoys this part, we always get a little bit of a sweat on and just get our blood pressure going, okay? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to do, similar to what we did to the, the ground one, okay? So this is a, a bridge to front, okay? So what, I'll just show you each of the techniques and then we'll go through them together. I'll actually join in with you guys on this one, okay? So the bridge is going across to the side, but what I want you to do is the opposite leg. So the one that's stretched out here, the one that's the furthest away is just going to shift onto the front, okay? And then we're going to go backwards here, and I'm going to shift there, and then it's the leg or foot opposite away from the longest hand, shift onto our front, okay? So we're basically going to do 20 in total, 10 right, 10 left, okay? So one is this, and then that. Okay, and then that'll be you two. All right, I'm going to count to 20 in total. All right, so we shift in from side to side. So I'll show you from one more angle just in case someone hasn't got it. So we shift ourselves up, reach, okay, and then the leg furthest away comes over. All right, and then we go up, stretch over. Okay, and the idea is to try to do this as quick as you can, guys, but with correct technique. There's no point in doing it if you're not going to do it with correct technique. Okay, so. Let's do this together, okay? So we need to do 20 in total. So, reach and stretch, right. So back, left, right, left, right, left. And keep your hips off the floor the whole time, don't cheat. Bums up. Okay, so we should get about four more. So right, right, left. Well done. Whew. Okay, it's always a good one to keep your body going. Right, mountain climbers. So my version of mountain climbers I like. It's like a plane position. Bring one foot up to your knee, then your knee to your elbow, okay? Elbows and knees must touch at all times. So when we shoot back, we're gonna slightly jump, swap the leg over, and then swap back. That's one, okay? So I'm gonna do 20 of these on my count. Right, together. So knee forward, back knee off the floor, all right? So ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Come on, guys. Right. Nearly jump squats. So, those pointed sit on your heels. I do this is to get from groundwork to stand in the quickest we can. Okay, so someone's tried to throw us, and we want to get up. So it's hands come back, swing forward, and you're going to leap up into a squat position. So 
this is one. All right, and you should be able to land and keep balance is the key, all right? So remember when we jump, breathe, yeah, it's a big jump up. All right, so it's from here, up, all right? Make sure you keep it low, all right? Okay, so, 10, do this with you. All right, ready? So, three, jump, put one, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, good, right. Don't you call me? That's why we're back on our feet. So, don't you call me is right, left, turn, left, right, turn. Okay? One hand going as well. Alright, so, like we're pulling, maybe think about putting a seatbelt on, or if one's seeing that, seatbelt comes on, yeah? Alright? Right, left. That's right, okay? 20 in total, all right? So it's right, left, one. Okay, so get ready. All right, remember right first and left. Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, keep going, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Hold well on, right. Two more exercises today. Okay, next one's burpees, everyone's favourite. Right, so burpee, one hands on the floor, legs out, chest down, chest up, legs in, jump. Okay, so down, jump. All right, that's one. All right, so we have 10. I'll do this with you. I'm just going to count on the jumps. All right, ready? So hands down, chest down, legs up, jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Brilliant, right. Put 10 second breather. Okay. Everyone's favourite. Judo press ups. Alright, so just give me the instruction first. So, a judo press up. You start in an all fours position, toes under. Going to lift your knees off the floor. And start slightly widening your legs. Okay, so step one is take the head to the floor. Step two is the hip to the floor. Step three, hip up. Okay, so you really arch your back. And then we're going to reverse that. So four, five, six. Okay, so one is this. So from there, Okay, so that's one. All right, so it's a good one for the arms, good one for the core, good one to keep you breathing as well. 10, okay? So start position. All right, ready together. So down, forward, head up, back. Down, forward, 
Head up. Back. Good. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Brilliant. Well done, guys. Give yourselves a clap. Right. Okay, so just a little bit of a cool down. Hopefully, you guys have got a bit of space uh, to do these. But just breathe, remember? Even I'm struggling a bit today. So, start off with just doing our neck again as normal. So, hands going to go all the way up in the air. Bend the elbow to grab the other ear. Okay, remember we're not pulling, just stretching. So we're going to let the head fall, but don't pull. So get a stretch on this side. Just remember to breathe. Just think about what we're doing today. Definitely take it back with you and practice it. Um, remember the videos will be on YouTube afterwards so you can actually re-watch, okay? Other hand, up and over, touch the other ear, just let the head fall, stretch that side of the neck. Remember upright posture. Good. <laughs> Hands linked behind the back of the head, chin down to chest. Don't pull again, just let the arms flop. It's the weight of the arms, not the pulling. Just get a stretch down the back of the neck. Okay, so go to the front of the head now. So hands just one in front of the other, put them on your forehead. What you have to do is try and push your hands against your head. Okay, and your head against your hands. So you ready? Do it three times. So push, 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 push. And relax. So again, push, 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 push. And relax. Push, 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 push. And relax. Good. All right. One arm all the way up as high as you can. Bend the elbow down to the back of the shoulder blades. Okay. Keeping the head up, posture up. Other hand comes all the way up. Across and grab the other elbow. Okay. Now we're going to pull the elbow towards the head. And at the same time, drive our hand forever down the back. Okay. Good. Relax that. So other hand goes up, down the middle of the back, other hand up, grab the other elbow, pull towards the head. Same time, drive the arm down the back of the shoulder blades. Keep the chin up. Good. Right. One arm goes all the way across the body. Remember, forearm past the elbow, pull towards you, so you close it towards your chest, and then put this hand on that side of the face. Just relax this arm. Good. Right, other side. So arm comes across. Remember, forearm just past the elbow, pull. So it comes closer to the chest, and then put the hand on the face. Good. Right. Just going to stretch our shoulder blades. So hands interlinked like this. If I was leaning forward like this, you're going to see a circle. And you're going to see me push my shoulders forward. Okay. So from here, the idea is if I put my shoulder blades together, I actually want to take them apart. Okay. So imagine you've got a a balloon or a ball that's expanding inside. All right, take your head down and just shoulders go forward and pull those shoulder blades apart and make sure you're really pushing your elbows out and trying to fight against that balloon that's blowing up. So you get a nice stretch down the middle of the back. Good, right. Just gonna do the back a little bit, so just slightly wider than the shoulder width, okay? All I want to do is just do a basic swing, okay? Um, if I show you from the side, position at the back is hand comes to chest, other hand is whipping around, okay? 
So you see the same on the other side. Okay. I'm keeping my feet still at this point. Both heel and toe are on the floor. Okay, now I'm going to release the heels. Okay, so heel to there. So you hip goes forward, twist. Just release the heel on one to the opposite side to your swing. Twist on the toe. Okay, so hips now. So just standing still. Gonna take the hips out to one side, but keep the head, try and keep the head in line with the middle line. Hips out so you feel a stretch down the outside. And I'm gonna do a big sort of hula hoop circle out to the front, all the way around to the other hip, and then all the way out to the back, keeping your head as still as you can to the side. When you get to the side, you reverse it to so go the other way. All the way around to the side again. And we go all the way around the front to the back, to the hip, to the back again, to the front. And the other way again. Okay, and the other way again. And the other way. And the other way. Good. Right, so, guys, so just give them a bit of a trick. So remember, balance, we've always been working on this balance throughout the whole couple of weeks. Keep the balance right, okay? Put your knees together, grab the foot, pull it into your bum. Remember, knees together. Okay, and then I want you to shoot your hips forward. So the idea is just to get your knees here and then shoot the hips forward a little bit. Okay, if you're finding balance like this, okay, two reasons: your, hip, your knees aren't together and you haven't got the finger in your ear. Okay, and then just remember to shoot the hips forward, but pull the heel to the bum as much as you can. Get a nice stretch down the front of that leg. It's bent. Good. Right. Swap over. So remember, just get the balance first. Okay. Grab the foot, knee together, okay, finger in here if you need to, and then push your hips forward. Just remember to keep your posture up, nice stretch, remember hips shoot forward. Good. Right, so we're doing hamstrings now, so back of our legs, all right? So we've got our feet, stand on one, Swap the other one over so you're crossing your feet together, quite close together, yeah? So right next to each other. And try and put the heels far back so it's your back of your legs touching the shin, okay? Now, stand up right at the moment. Hands go on your legs. And what we're going to do is just going to slowly bend forward until you start to feel a pull on the back leg, okay? So start bending forward until you feel a pull. Okay, once you've got that pull, just hold for a second. All right, then we take a breath in. And when we blow out, we're going to start to push our hands towards the floor again. So blow out, and then reach down a bit more. Good. And we're going to reach, blow, breathe in again, and then blow out and try and touch the floor again. Just move your feet, your hands closer to the floor. Breathe in, and then blow out again. Good. And hold. Well done. Right. So if you like this, swap the foot over. So you're on the other leg now. Okay, hands on your legs and just start running them down until you start to feel the stretch on the back of the leg. When you get the stretch, hold. Okay, take a big breath in. As we blow out, remember to try and push your hands closer to the floor and hold. Big breath in, then we blow again, try and push your hands closer. A big breath in, and try to push your hands closer again when you blow out. Well done. Right, calves are the last one really. So, I'm gonna go into our sort of tabletop position, toes under again. Okay, hands planted. Keep the feet at shoulder width, okay? Gonna take the hip knees off and heels up. So, sorry, bum up. And then what we're going to do is just walk out the legs. Okay, so you can try and push one heel to the floor with a straight leg, and then swap to the other leg, straighten that leg, and then try and push that heel to the floor. Okay? So we're going to just walk it. So just two seconds on one leg, change to the other one. Two seconds, 
and then change two seconds. Just keep changing over. They're good. Right, so perfect timing. Okay, so um, that's the session over with, guys. So obviously, massive thank you for everyone for turning up today. Um, I'm actually, if I can work out how to do it. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. No, I can't. Okay, so um, obviously just a massive, massive, oh, there we go. I'm mute. I'm mute. Okay, so got well, everyone in mode now, so everyone's speaking. I think everyone is speaking. Um, so just saying hello to everyone. Thank you for coming. Hard um, move, Rick. How did everyone get on? Thumbs up, anyone? So happy. Riley, even thumbs up. All right, Tristan, you look like you worked hard, mate. Yeah, really. <laughs> How'd you get on, Lewis? Rick Gerald, how'd you get on? Brilliant. Matilda, how's it done? How are you feeling? Well done. Leon Bruno, he's all in the shed. How'd you get on? Leo, yeah, you good? Yes, good. Thank you. Right, cool. So, hello, Jack and Brad. Finishing off there, guys. So, um, up to that, guys, uh, just a few little things, just quickly, just to remind you. So uh, the grading for Barnet Judo Club is on the 6th of June, that's Saturday the 6th of June. Um, we'll send out times once we've organised everything and got the participants' names. Um, everyone that is participating in it, obviously you need to attend eight sessions if you're a junior or a senior. Um, you need to attend six sessions if you're a primary. So these online sessions you need to be attending. We have got a register going, so we do know who's been coming. Um, I need to make sure that you obviously have uh, knowledge of the Tachi Waza, so the standing, which is eight techniques. Okay, those eight techniques are going to need to be demonstrated with the foot patterns that we've been going through. Plus also, you're going to need to use the Uchi Komi bands. So the guys that don't have these Uchi Komi bands in Barnet Judo Club, Message us as soon as you get off of this uh, session, um, or as soon as you see this session, these are free for you guys, okay? So you need to let us know that you want them, and you want to do the grading and stuff, and then we'll get them to you, okay? Um, any other clubs in the local areas, um, I've got Cornwall on, Dunstable, things like that. Um, if you guys want these Uchi Komi bands, you can source them yourself off of eBay. It's a bit of a pain, but we've got some bulk of them now, so we can sell them on to you if you want some. Um, just let me know, and we'll get them to you. Um, Obviously, there's judo core exercises that you need to have. So some of the exercises I've done today and some of the ones in the other exercise sessions. Um, it is well worth getting onto our YouTube uh, Barnet Judo Club just to make sure that you can watch through what we've already covered, um, catch yourself up, um, and also just to re-practice everything we've done. Okay. Um, you can also follow us on uh, social media. I don't know if you can see in the background. I have had a screen flicking over. Um, but you can also follow us on social media. Okay. Um, which we've got obviously Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and then obviously the YouTube. So do get on there and start following us. Um, otherwise, guys, brilliant session. Thank you so much for the support again. Um, and obviously we'll see you on Wednesday.